Hello! Hello, yes, welcome to episode 22 of Snow Radio's Retro Lounge. Yes, you may think I'm a little bigger than normal. I think I'm a little bigger than normal. Um, but true to my word, we've uh, we've moved to the Mac Studio. So, um, yeah, I'm still trying to get everything back to how I like it. It's all very well having a super fast machine. Uh, but none of, none of my stuff works. Ugh. I bought so many cables over the weekend. Um, also, better from last week. Um, tested positive still over the weekend, but feeling a lot better uh, than I did last week. So what are we doing this week? What are we doing? Well, usually, uh, well, the wheel picked game shows. So before the weekend, I went to OpenMU and I looked through all the game shows and I normally give them a quick run through to make sure they work and that sort of thing before the next show. Um, but because I spent all the time trying to get my machine working. Oh, you you just you just don't get all the little tweaks that you do over the years because my last machine was eight years old. You forget, you forget, and then you move to a new machine. You go, what? Why, why can't I do that? Why, why is that not working? Oh, because you've not installed that and then run this script. Oh, so yeah, there you go. Um, right. So um, so enough about that. Let's move over to um, to the tiny screen and uh, <coughs> let's explain what's going to happen tonight. So, we do have a number of versions of the same game show. It seems to, to centre around Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Uh, and I thought it might be better this time, rather than do it by system, what we might do is we might do it by game show and see how the different systems uh, manage with the uh, with the quiz show format. Uh, so we're going to start with who wants to be a millionaire, and weirdly. Because we're doing it kind of by age, we're going to start with um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Second edition Game Boy version. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens, shall we? Let's see what happens. Um, and I can't guarantee any of this is all going to work because my ROM library has changed. All my Streamlabs overlays a strange so um I see how we get on shall we okay now we have pre hijacked um so it's obviously the Game Boy colour as you can tell from the colour um okay so Noticed all my all my volumes are different as well. <laughs> um, if it's too loud, in uh, if the music's too loud or not loud enough, uh, if you could let us know in the chat, and then we'll um, see how we get on. Alter as needed. All right. I'm curious how these games are gonna work in. Um, one player mode. Can't feel there's an awful lot of um, Can't think of the word. Oh see COVID's messed my brain. Okay. Hundred dollars. What's the name of ba of uh, Popeye's baby? That's sweet pea. Mm. 
how's the how's the lettering for you guys? It's a little chunky for me. Although I do have it blown up to a uh, a portrait that comically exaggerates a person's physical traits is called a caricature. I mean, what happens when I phone a friend? Who's it going? What? What's going to happen there? I guess we'll find out. Okay, 300. In what restaurant can you order a Grand Slam breakfast? Oh no. I'm going with Denny's. Phew. What's the coloured part of the eye cold? That's the iris. Final answer. I wondered how it was going to make me um, final answer. Okay, so so is that it? Am I going on with the grand whatever? Which of the f which of the following is about the Watergate scandal? Um, it's all the president's men. Hey, a clean nutty cluster. You're a bit late, but we'll uh, we'll allow it. We're on a thousand dollars. Oh, Elmo! Welcome to the chat. Hello. Last letter of the Greek alphabet. Oh. Don't we say a thing is alpha to omega? Ooh. Okay. In golf, what is one stroke over par? Um, how do I choose a lifeline? I'll press select. Okay. Oh, they're neither ones that I wanted. I'm going with a bogey. Bogeys! I'm oh, not bad, Elmo, mate. You? How are you getting on? come to help out with some of these trivia questions have you Patron saint of animals I think it's Francis of Assisi oh. Ra Oh no, Elmo's watching the ads. At the equator, how fast is the Earth's surface turning? Oh, I don't know. Off the top of my head. Oh. Oh, let's ask the audience. I'll go with the audience. Okay. What animal represents the year 2000? Oh! Right, it's time to see. Um. Yep, let's phone a friend. Oh, Hamran. The answer is A. Dude, I believe you, Hamran. You're my friend. Yay, I'm going home with $32,000. That doesn't matter if I get this one wrong. I still have 32 dollars Which of these states is not the birthplace of a US president? Yay. Oh. Naughty cluster. Get in there with C. I thought there might be too much of a delay for you to answer these questions. Oh. I don't know. I have no more lifelines.
Well done, Elmo. Just won me $64,000. Woo! Uh, in the novel Around the World with 80 Days, Phileas Fogg's uh, Faithful Valet was Passepartout. Oh, I see. So you weren't giving me the right answer. You give me answer for someone else. And oh, jeez. I thought there was a lag. Which actress played a pointy-eared Vulcan in the movie a Wrath of Khan? Whoa! Hello, nurse. Have I just? Have I just? Oh, I thought I just got a million on my first go. Sit. This is the really difficult one. What was the first American college to become co-ed? Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Gonna lose all my money. Oh! <laughs> oh! Who wants to be a millionaire? I do. Oh, there's no way I... If I was actually on the telly, I would have... I would have not been as cavalier with my winnings. Thanks, Regis. Regis. One million dollars. Um, just so you know, it ain't gonna go that good for the rest of the, the games. No way. No way can it be that good. Ah, okay. Oh, you have to wait for it to run through. You can't just press. Oh, thanks. I could. Oh, that's fair. I could have done without a million dollars. Okay, so that's uh, that's that's what Who Wants to Be a Millionaire looks like on the Game Boy Color. So let's see what Who Wants to Be a Millionaire looks like on. The uh, the super duper Nintendo DS. You know how we we love we love DS games, don't we? We love them um, because we have to play them. We have to play them on this screen, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, which is not irritating in the least. There you go. Um, where's my window? There it is. Okay. Can we win a million pounds again? Keep forgetting you have to use the mouse as the touch screen on the DS. Welcome to this special Yay, it's Chris. DS version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. The rules are simple. Answer all 15 questions using your touch screen, just like you would on the show, and you'll win a virtual million pounds. Let's not waste any time and get you into the hot seat. Proper English version. Time Ooh. for the very first question. Let's get the money rolling in. Well done. That's the start we were looking for. Didn't even read that one out because I thought <laughs> it's easy enough. Question two coming up now and it's worth two hundred pounds. Take a look. Oh, now Houston, I have a bit of a problem in that I can't get. Oh, there it is. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I have excellent. Oh, no, I can do it with a button and a pad. That's fine. That's good. I was a bit worried. Uh, which of these dishes is from Italy? That 
That's the right answer. Well done. First of April 2006. The price of what? We're off to 130, 150. Is it going to be. Well done, that's the right answer, and it's one you five. It's not handling fans. the video very well, is it? It's a bit crackly in the uh, in the audio. Uh, it's laid out Get there. This question right, and you'll be leaving with at least one thousand pounds. Which of these most likely to have a watermark? Oh, cheese. No, I know it's not. Very well played. That's absolutely correct. What symbol appears on Here the comes national six, flags six, of the eight, Scandinavian eight, countries? Had one thousand pounds, you've still got one thousand. Oh well, I got a thousand pounds. I mean, cross is most traditional. I should have, should have got it, really. Yeah, all right, it's a bit late now, Elmo. Give me the answer once I've lost. But I understand there's a lag. Don't worry. He's a right lag. Um, <coughs> the uh. The annoying thing is, when you put your mouse over the window, um, you get an open MU taskbar that actually sits right over the button that says press start to continue. I do quite, I do quite like this version. Um, Are you ready? Let's play. I can see Who wants to be loading it onto a DS and actually playing it. Oh. Time for the very first question. Let's get the money rolling in. That's a good start. It's the right answer. Question two coming up now, and it's worth 200 pounds. Well done. You just won. I'm not reading these out. Everyone knows these. 300 pounds if you can answer question number five. That's the right answer. Well done. Which of these Just does a banjo not usually have? Have a look at question number four. Trick question. Well done, that's the right answer, and it's won you five hundred pounds. Particularly so it's associated right, with, with, with Bavaria, what sort of attire are Lederhosen? Ah, Lederhosen, I know them well. Now this is the last chance you could leave with nothing, so it's a good job you gave me the right answer. You just won one thousand pounds. Which version of the King's Bible is six, still in two general pounds. use? Uh, I think it's King James's. So was that the correct answer? Which of these writers was not Irish? Well, do you know what? I'm going with. Dylan Thomas, who sounds quite Welsh. You had two thousand pounds, and that correct answer is double your money to four thousand. Go on. Oh, stuff now. Question number eight is worth eight thousand pounds. Take your time and make Football sure you Football club changed the their answer. shirts from red to burgundy. Um. Let's do a 50-50. Okay, you want to use your 50-50 lifeline, not a problem. All we need for the computer to do is take away two wrong answers and leave us with the right answer and just one possible wrong answer. So it took away the, the two that I was kind of almost certain it wasn't. Uh, you had 4,000. And you now have eight thousand pounds. Well played. Oh, that was good the guess. right answer. Ah, so no. No, I've no idea about footy either. Approximately what percentage of the Earth's surface is covered by water? Sixteen thousand pounds. With question number nine. I want to go between fifty or seventy. Should we see what the audience say? Yeah. Right, audience, we need your help. My Lab audience says seventy as well. Get ready to vote. Now. 
Well done, Elmo. And Nutty Cluster, both, both That's the of sort my of audience. audience. That we like. The majority of them seem to think it is. If this is the wrong answer, you'll lose £7,000. But it's not wrong. I think right everybody one. thinks it's right. £16,000. Pinyin. Now, this is a crucial... It's a method of transcribing right, which language. No less than £32,000. Okay, so my audience is going with A. Chinese. I'm going. I'm, I'm putting all my faith in these two chuckleheads in the chat room. Is that your? If the answer you've given me is the correct one, you'll be guaranteed thirty-two thousand pounds. Thirty-two thousand pounds. That's about a million, million dollars, isn't it? Maybe a million Canadian dollars. It's Which not bridge get asked a question where the features on the reverse of the 2005 people. issue of the one pound coin? That moment is here, so make the most of it. It's a suspension bridge, isn't it? Isn't it? Don't, why, would, why would it be Menai, with all due respect? We've got a difference of opinion in the audience, so I'm going to phone a friend. Let's hope one of your friends knows the answer to this one then. Choose one friend and we'll give them a call. I thought they were going to do a voice and everything then. That wasn't a great deal of help, was it? No, because I don't think it's Tower, tower Bridge. Um, I'm going to go with Elmo on this one and hope I don't have to eat my words. You had a free shot at £64,000, but you missed. Ah, oh, it is Menai! Well, neither of my audience... I feel better that neither of my audience um, <laughs> got it right either. So uh, so there you go. That's uh, an English version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on the uh, on the DS. Um, so let's see where we're going now. We'll return after these messages. Now comes the ultimate challenge from Nintendo. The challenge of stopping World War III and becoming Top Gun. The challenge of Hogan's Alley, where survival depends on a steady hand. The challenge of fighting seven contenders before taking on Tyson to become world champion. You can take up the challenge with over 50 adventures from Nintendo. Parents can ring 015464646 for information now. Nintendo, the world's number one game system. So we're going to go to Wheel of Fortune. Um, but we're going to check it out on the NES first. We're going to have a look at the NES version of Wheel of Fortune. And um, see what we get. I mean, you kind of feel that some of, some of these games don't really feel like they lend themselves to, uh, to a video game. Um... Unless it's like, you know, like Buzz on the PlayStation 3, which you sit around and you all uh, have a controller and stuff like that. Um. Okay, dokie. Where are we? There you are. Wheel of Fortune. Yes, I did like Buzz, but people didn't like playing with me because I beat them mercilessly. In a nice way. Okay. Now I'm expecting all these to be American based. Um, hmm. It doesn't look like it fits. Or it looks like it fits, but it's not central. Weird. 
Let's see what you get when we do that for you. Okay. Um, I should also probably say that I've I don't have any nostalgia really for game show on on video consoles. I don't think I ever played any of these sorts of games. Oh, we're gonna be all the A's. Well, it still makes me go to the end to do end. Okay. Well, this looks complicated. in business it's uh, I'd like a little bit longer please Come on, Mary. Oh, no L's. Is it my turn, is it? Oh, no, it's Louise. So there's two more people playing this. It's not just me versus the computer. strength should be able to get it from that what do you think I should go for a T next maybe if she doesn't take it first looking for people. Well, that's not people, is it? That looks like Better Business Bureau. No, 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 no. Shit, how'd you get back? person's name
Do I need to do something? I don't know. She's just doing a slow clap. It's a landmark you would think would be a landmark. Just, just a guess. Just a guess. Oh, we get apostrophes now. I'm not as enamoured with this game as I was with the... Uh, I think the best one we've played so far is the DS. Who wants to be a millionaire? Um, do I get anything for solving it? the strategy for playing this is build up as many points as you can or did I just get no points speed up don't want it to go any faster a title that narrows it down doesn't it it's a title of something Oh, if I'd have seen, if I'd have seen you, um, too busy reading that, that's annoying. Um, giant snob. Right. I wish I'd have seen that sooner. It's not, it's not, it's not me, is it? No. Come on, Louise, you can't solve it from that. Come on. Is it my turn? No S's. S is not guaranteed. It's the African... Not V. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you, Elmo. Gonna solve it now, though, aren't they? They're gonna solve it before I get a go. Come on, Louise. Be quick. And thick.
Oh, I see. It's a phrase. <laughs> oh, uh, well, it's it looks like the best or the rest. not going to get it in five seconds, am I? No online holiday for me. Nothing but the best. I, I, I say that all the time. All the time. I don't know why I didn't get it. Uh, okay, so that's, that's uh, Wheel of Fortune on the NES. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right, um, Wheel of Fortune on the Mega Drive. Sega! Oh, Andy pulled it in. Wow, look at that. So now we, we know the gameplay. How many players would you like? Just one. Would you like to play against the computer? Uh, what would you say if I said, can I play by myself? Please enter your name. Oh. Please choose a character. I didn't do that. Am I actually playing? Uh. I don't actually know if I'm playing this. No, I'm not. I'm not playing this. What? What? <laughs> What's going on? Uh. Let's restart it and see what happens. I think maybe I must have selected a, a dodgy option. Start game. Like? How many contestants will there be? One. Would you like to play against the computer? No. Please enter your name. This uh, this bloody icon, uh, not icon, the cursor shit with the joypad. Not liking it. Not liking it. Please choose a character. So I guess I just do that. I think I prefer seeing the wheel. Choose a letter. Does it tell? Does it tell us what we? Oh yeah, we're looking for. I think again. 
That narrows it down. I think. Guess we've got to go for uh, an S. There are no S's. S is not guaranteed. Uh, he doesn't look as happy when he's not getting... Um... Well, come on now. No R. You are sitting about. Uh, I don't, I'm, uh... Choose a letter. Let's, let's buy a vowel, shall we? There's only one E. Really? He's happy with 500. Um. Oh, no. Why would I even think that? No, 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 no. Back, 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 back. It's not back, it's delete. Oh, tits. Yeah, I was too slow because I thought it was linen basket. Then I realised we've already had E. Tag nab it. Just going with a hunch. Yeah, it's basket, it's something basket. Oh no, it can't be. Can't be because I've already asked for S. Right, there are no A's. Bucket. Bucket. I'm glad there's another, <laughs> another C, because... Uh, uh, uh. I mean, it's not going to... Is it lunch bucket? Well. 
lunch bucket. Congratulations! Holy Moses. Um, I think we're done with the Mega Drive. This is the Mega Drive. Mega Drive's version of um, Wheel of Fortune. Don't think it's implemented as well as the NES version. But we still have the Nintendo 64 version to check out. So I'll be curious. Wheel of oh, you just missed them chanting Wheel of Fortune. Bet you're disappointed now. Well, look, Naughty Cluster's got a, a proper delay. She's trying, she's suggesting punch bucket, which feels worse than lunch bucket somehow. Anyway. All right, so we've seen the wheel, which is good. Oh, video and everything. Let's just do on with the show. Let's get started with our first puzzle. Who, who am I? Player one, it's your turn. Oh, is that me, is it? I'm that flat bloke in grey. Um, spin. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Tea. No teas. Okay. Has it hung? My controller's not working anymore. Bugger. Let's do it one more time. See if it crashes again. So there's nothing there that says... Perhaps we need to change the players to computers. No. Let's get started with our first puzzle. Balls. Player one, it's your turn. Yeah, unfortunately, player two and player three aren't going to be able to. Oh. I'll spin. So it's going to player two and I don't have any controller for player two. But at least we've seen it. We've seen it. This is this is how um This is how Wheel of Fortune looks on the uh, N64. More video. Um But it feels like it's a a group game for more than one player. Because it didn't give me the option that I noticed, so uh, so there we go. We can uh, we can move on. Uh, I'm going to move on to Jeopardy, um, which I don't know if we have in Britain. I know, I know of it. I know the game, but I don't think there's an English version of Jeopardy. Uh, I don't know if if uh, the chat room can help out. Uh, they might know. Uh, so we're going to go to the Game Boy. We'll return after these messages. Do it.
going to have a look at Jeopardy. And if you can hear that music, <coughs> um, you'll know that it's uh, Gamey Game Boy. It's um, brown, um, green, green, beige, green Game Boy. The original. The OG, as the kids say nowadays. Yep, look at that. Look at that. So I'm going to shrink mine down a little bit so it looks better for me. And then I'm going to make yours back bigger again so it looks better for you. All right. Okay, so we're going to play against the computer. I like the Jeopardy music, but I feel that might get irritating. Oh, you changed key. Fair enough. Oh, that looks just like me. Okay. Oh, movie trivia. Let's try that. What just happened? Do I have to type something in? Oh, what? Now I thought in the best feature, its title came from a jumpty. That ticking clock's doing my head in. Ah. What's going on? All the King's Men. It wanted me to write All the King's Men in 30 seconds. Okay, well, I, I know that. What's that? What's that business? Yes, well done. It is Doctor Strange Love. Okay, what are our other options? Oh, 
Oh, so that's buzzing in. That's the buzzing in thing. Um, it's the... Um, I think it's the twist, which was the um, the prequel to Let's Twist Again. Oh, it could be Let's Twist Again then. Oh, the Zuzi Wixie. Limbo Rock. Yeah, you are right, Elmo. It was Limbo Rock. I wanted to say something limbo y, but I couldn't remember the rock part. Bossa Nova. Uh, um, we have a couple of more Jeopardies to play. So, this black and white one that's irritated me. Um, <laughs> we're going to leave it. We're going to move on to the NES. And on the NES... They had... The 25th Anniversary Edition of Jeopardy um, and we will see that now except it's huge there we go onto the screen little one that's right Clarice there we go <laughs> we go with children's literature children's literature please for 200 I can't press a button oh go get in there let's stick with this one shall we oh why did I do that why who who is this person okay never heard a flicker Let's do famous lasts, shall we? This is 
expect that it was Mr. Presley. Now, are they going to want... Going to make me write out Elvis Presley. George, will it just, just let me actually just accept George? Oh, Edward. Oh, dude. Don't know why I thought George. For some reason, I thought that was the Queen's dad was George. Gonna run out of time. It was George, but I wouldn't have put sixth on the end. I would have just written George, so I would have got it wrong. American Castle is this last was Friday what? He and Alexander Hamilton are the only non presidents on today's paper currency. The American currency. keep forgetting there's a timer even though it's ticking away um i'm done with jeopardy or i'm done with this version of jeopardy do we have another version oh we've got a mega drive version that's deluxe deluxe mega drive version go on we'll have a quick look just for the sake of completion same company though uh the same developer who's uh who's made it so I can't imagine it's going to be s massively different oh studio and everything look at this Two joypads are required for three player game. I'm just one player game, mate. Just one. I don't know what I've done. Okay, Alicia, time for a whooping. Here are the categories. Let's go for breakfast, shall we? The appliance used to cook these makes a grid pattern on the batter as it bakes. What are? Surely it's what is. What is a waffle maker? All right. All right, donkey. 
I'm going with just waffles, yes. Didn't read the question. Where's end? Where's submit? You are correct. See, Naughty Cluster had it wrong as well. Should we try should we try another one? This product is made from milk cultured by bacteria. George Bush eats it for breakfast. <laughs> oh, you're going to make me think about spelling it, aren't you? Surely it's yoghurt. But, do they have a different spelling than us? To do. Good guess. What else have we got? Should we do missing link? Let's do a missing link one. Oh. What is? Surely you mean who is? Shouldn't it be Larry? If you've got Mo and Curly Joe, surely it's surely. But that would be who is. But I'm still going to go for it anyway. You are correct. There you go. Let's have a question about smelly leaves. Nestle introduced top selling rice filled candy bar. The US in 1937. By the time I've read it out, it's ended. Sorry. She just put, she just put triple X in for an answer. And I don't, can't, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. You know the correct response. Oh, I've eaten lots of them. I should have known. Uh, anyway. That's enough Jeopardy for this show. So much Jeopardy. Um, now, oh no, I know where we're ending. That's fine. I've worked out where we're ending. That's good, that. Uh, so we're going to go now to a show that us Brits call Family Fortunes. You don't get Family Fortunes on the NES. You get Family Feud. Again, no idea how this is going to play with one person playing it. Get your bloody window so you can see it too. Here we go. Family Feud. Oh! Okay. Name a spot that really caught on in the last few years. <coughs> oh, oh, these bright in... in uh, let's do cycling, shall we? 
say in the last few years when this was made who knows what What was the guess? Okay. I was going to guess soccer as well. So we've got a chance to steal. Um, <laughs> lacrosse? All right. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I see you. We're not winning any money. Kelts of Breeze. Those bloody Carsons. Oh. No way. Water? I'm going to try water. Yeah, you shite bag. You don't you don't spill leaves or I would use your answer there Elmo um, well we're done flour let's try sugar shall we there's Nutty Cluster a little bit late with her answer that I've just tried bless her cotton socks I feel we're, we're looking for granular things I mean I could try about pepper yeah I thought cereal did cross my mind uh. see if they're gonna steal it They didn't. 
Right, let's see what the other answers were. Eggs. Mercury? <laughs> Mercury? What? Oh my... Oh dear. I just pressed the button, I didn't really look at the question. Um, give another word for ugly. Um, Mingin's not going to be in there. I think hideous is a bit rough, but go on. We'll go with the chat. Okay. What's the Carson answered? Gross. Okay, chat room, start thinking of words. Uh, another word for ugly. I wish we could see what they'd guessed. No, I'm not sure face like a slapped ass is going to be in there. Horrid? Maybe? Monster? Um... Don't think I've got enough room to put face like a slap ass. I didn't see horrid. I saw horrible. Let's see what the answers were. Homely. Oh, nutty cluster, it was there. It was there, unattractive. Wow. Name something, a football player, an American football player wears. Boots. What? Doesn't wear boots. Kiss my ass. We'll uh, take a chat room option there and do Jersey. Should we put padding or pads? I wonder if there's any sort of error correction that... It... 
Nope. I can't believe Boots wasn't in. Uh, okay. I can't be bothered writing mouth guard. I'm just going to put guard and hope it knows. Quite why I think it's going to know. <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, they got it wrong as well. Cool. Well, what are the answers? I put padding. Mm. Jock strap. No, not boots, but jock strap. I do question the answers on some of these games. I really do. How many minutes do kids spend on their homework each night? How many minutes? What? I name a dime because it's quicker to type. Well, I think quarter would probably be the... I know food and treat are exactly the same answer, but stroking them. Yeah, bastard. Okay. Let's go with a walk. How many minutes do kids spend on their homework each night? put not and I didn't get a very high score last time so let's put one see what happens name any US coin I'm going with quarter this time because it's probably the highest score okay let's see what happens no one Did they get enough? Hey! Woo! Okay, so um, that was Family Feud. Um, and I got 20 grand. Do you know what? I've won quite a bit of money tonight so far. Uh, let's have a look. Quick look at Family Feud on the PlayStation. We'll return after these messages. For years I've lived a double life. In the day I do my job, I ride the bus, roll up my sleeves with the hoi polloi. But at night, 
I live a life of exhilaration. Of missed heartbeats and adrenaline. And, if the truth be known... A life of dubious virtue. I won't deny it. I've been engaged in violence, even indulged in it. I've assailed adversaries, and not merely in self-defence. I've exhibited disregard for life, limb and property. And savoured every moment. You may not think it to look at me. But I have commanded armies. And conquered worlds. And though in achieving these things... I have set morality aside. I have no regrets. For though I've led a double life, at least I can say... I have lived. Our next ad... Um... Let's have a quick look. An hour and a half. Okay. So. Bit of PlayStation. I think it's that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm sub expecting a substantial jump in quality. No memory slot. Don't worry about it. Carry on. It's fine. Hi, welcome to the Family Feud. Hi. You can go directly backstage and prepare for the show, or you can go to our Create Your Family selection. Uh, this might take a... You can create a new family or edit one that already exists. Let's go with the Joneses, shall we? Or not. Uh, just happy to accept. You can create a new family nope. or edit one that already exists. Hi, welcome to the Family Feud. You can go directly backstage and prepare for the show. Yeah, let's you do can that. Go to our Create Your Family selection. Backstage. All right. You got to make a couple of choices here. First of all, how many families? Hi. Welcome to the family. Oh. You can go directly backstage and prepare for the show. Backstage. All right. You need to pick a family. Sod it. I'm going with Robinson. There's a, a lot of faff to get into this game, isn't there? this John Candy's less pretty brother? I mean, I imagine he's just a... Possibly a host of an American version at some point. I don't have an extensive family feud knowledge. They're congenial and natural and hail from Charlottetown. Give a big welcome to family number one. Yeah, those people were closing their eyes when they clapped. St. John, New Brunswick. And they describe themselves as being skillful. And can we quit fun. this? Can we get past Let's this? Hear it for them. Family no, number two. we can't. Unskippable. These two families will be playing for big money on the Family Feud. And now... There you go, I'm guessing that guy is Louis Anderson. Mr. It's Anderson. Time for the feud. I've got the questions, you've got the answers, let's have some fun. Okay. We 
surveyed 100 people. Top five answers are up on the board. Try to guess the most popular answer. Are you ready? Tell me something you might decorate your bed with. I thought I was pressing what the right button. It is, family number two? Quilt. It's not the top answer. It's going to be up All there. Right. Let's see if it's on the board. Oh, I thought it'd be higher than that. Good answer, but it's not number one. Next family gets a chance. All right. Your answer, family number one. I'm going for pillows. Hurry, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I want to see that answer. Of course. Hello. Don't know what else you decorate right. a bed with now, though. Once you've done pillows and quilts. Our top answer. Way to go. Blanket? Play or pass? What do you want to do? I don't know, because I don't have a controller that's got squares and circles on. Don't know what option pass. I picked. All right, then. Oh, I passed. Yeah. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Tell me something you might decorate your bed with. I assume she's not talking about Fringe, the TV series. Is it there? Let's see. Oh. Oh, no. Nice try. What else no. would you put on the bed? Your first strike. Headboard? Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Oh, these people look horrible. Tell me something you might decorate your bed with. Rose petals? Good answer! Good answer! Shit answer? Dude! Jeez! Oh, not there. Second strike. I mean, was that a clue? If you put rose Next family, petals. One more strike, and you get a chance to steal. Next family member, what do you say? If you don't say blanket, I'm stealing it. Tell me something you might decorate your bed with. Ruffles. Survey says they're crisps. What? Absolutely. Next player, let's go. Tell me something you might decorate your bed with. I hope it's up there for you. Yeah. Oh, I might lose this. Another player. You need another answer. Tell me something you might decorate your bed with. Fancy sheets. You never know what's going to be up there. Survey says. All right, Louis. Okay. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. It's your turn. Next player, what's your guess? Tell me something you might decorate your bed with.
Ah, oh, you see, I could have. Uh, that answer is already on the board. Got another one for us? Blanket? Was it? No, no, I haven't. I haven't got another answer. I didn't see it. Time's up. Sorry. Am I not paying attention? Yes. Family number two. You get the point. It's not beyond the realms of possibility. What was in third? Bedspread. That takes us to the end of this. Well, round. they're living in the seventies. The scoreboard. Oh. Uh, I, I, pfft. I'm done. This is too drawn out. The previous version. You're playing. Bang! There it goes. The previous version seemed um, easier to get into and play. Anyway, um, so that's uh, it's kind of it for the main um, TV games. Uh, TV game shows that have been made into games. Uh, but I did have a request for a game that's about a TV game show. Uh, so we're going to end with that. Um, it's uh, The version I've got is on the Mega Drive. And it's uh, a request by Elmo. And this is Super Smash TV. Uh, yes, a bit of a cheat, but um, been a long time since I played this. I don't actually remember anything about it. <laughs> Let's see. Obviously not something you would have seen in um, on ITV on a Saturday night or anything like that. Where do I need to go now? It's got the exit. Oh, collect power ups, but not those because they're not power ups. Can't stand still. Oh no. How do I get... What's on a mine again? Thank <laughs> you. 
this time we go super slash tv and do you know what i think i think that that marks the end of tonight's uh, festivities yes um okay so it can only mean one thing uh, and that one thing is the wheel. Um, so let's let's just make, make sure everything is open that should be open. It's that one. It uh, worried me a little bit earlier on um, when I opened the wheel on my new machine, and it was blank, um, which was a bit worrying but i think i think i've got it i think so let's have a have a look oh can you see it's, it's back there annoying look, look, why why has it shrunk to that oh tell you tell you where's the wheel gone where where where's the wheel worst comes to the worst i'll have to spin it and then um, just tell you what it is. You'll have to trust me. You'll have to trust me. So it says it's picked, but it's not there. Bugger. Okay. Okay. Well, well, we'll switch back to this. And then you, you just give me one second while I look at the wheel and give it a spin. And we'll uh, see what we're going to get. Okay, it's Pac-Man. Uh, I know we've done mazes, maze games and such, but Pac-Man was in lots of other games that weren't maze, that they were a bit maze related. But we're going to look at all the things that Pac-Man has been in. Most of the things, some of the things that Pac-Man has been in. Um, mm, okay. Oh, they're all big ones, aren't they? Aren't they? Can't I just have one where it's a relaxing, hey, let's play some random games? Oh, Pac-Man. Right. There we go, then. Um, okay, well... <clears throat> if you want to get in touch, there are a myriad of ways of getting in touch, but you can email us, retro at snugradio.co.uk, retro, R-E-T-O, sorry, R-E-T-R-O. <sighs> at snugradio.co.uk that's also the website uh, mostly dedicated to our 18 year old podcast but uh, snugradio.co.uk there's loads of fun stuff there we're also on Facebook and Twitter as Snug Radio and hmm, TikTok yes we're on TikTok as Snug Radio and if you're watching live now you know we're on Twitch at 7 o'clock on a Mondays that's when we get our retro on Seven o'clock every Monday. Every Monday. No matter what's going on, every Monday. 
Well, I've said it now, haven't I? Um, and obviously, if you're not watching this live here, you're watching it on YouTube. So you've already found our YouTube channel, Snug Radio, where there's a full playlist of all the retro lounges, all, all the different versions of things that we've done. Um, so you can check back and um, have a retro marathon. There's 20, 20, over 20 hours of retro lounge now. Um, so there's that. And I think that's everything. We're, we're everywhere. We're everywhere at Snug Radio. Um, so what I'd like you to do is please uh, give us a good review. Um, subscribe, follow, um, click the bell, comment underneath, share with your friends. That would be a good start. Share with your friends. Do you know somebody who likes retro games? Then what's not to like? Anyway, so that's it from me uh, for this week. Hope you've enjoyed our game shows. And um, join us next week for Pac-Man. Pac-Man. We might even play some original OG Pac-Man. I don't know. Anyway, have a great week. And I'll see you next week. I've been Matt. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Play Retro. Bye.